Hi there and welcome. I'm Jordan from the blog Home and Motherhood and here are my 17 best tips for lichen sclerosis. One, take a sitz bath. Adding lavender or tea tree essential oil to your sitz bath can be really soothing to any exposed um, like lichen sclerosis breakout. Lavender is known to relax your skin and tea tree oil is an antibacteria. For some reason the two together have been very helpful to me in soothing any breakouts. Um, also, using an herbal sitz bath like the one I have here, yoni steam can be really helpful in healing any exposed skin and calming the lichen sclerosis breakout. Second, using a cold compress on the affected area can relieve that intense itching. Um, I like to use a cold wet washcloth and just apply it to the affected area and it relieves the itching like right away. Um, I highly recommend that, especially for children, that's an easy like, and fast fix. Third is to apply coconut oil to your affected area and that is to create a barrier so that your skin is not having any friction and there is no fusing going to happen. Um, when lichen sclerosis is like in an active breakout, I like to use like a lot of coconut oil. I like to use either the Trader Joe's extra virgin coconut oil or, um, or the one at Whole Foods I also like a lot. Fourth is to wear cotton underwear. Cotton is moisture wicking and allows your skin the ability to breathe, especially while it's healing and just to feel extra clean in your affected areas. Fifth is to use all natural laundry soap, and that is to keep any extra chemicals just away from your body, especially if you have any tears or like exposed skin going on. Um, chemicals are not going to help that, so to use an all natural uh, laundry soap can be helpful. Um, also, that goes into the next one, and that is using an all-natural um, body soap. I like to use a plain Jane with no scent, um, especially in times where lichen sclerosis is really bothering me. Seventh is keeping your lichen sclerosis affected area very clean. For me, that meant taking showers every day. That may seem a little excessive, but I definitely noticed a difference on days where I would skip taking a shower. Um, I didn't feel as clean. I felt like, oh, my lichen sclerosis was kind of gonna like, was bothering me that day. So just staying very clean. Eight is to avoid activities that cause friction against your skin. Um, that could be running, riding a bike, whatever it is. Um, avoiding those activities, especially when your skin is in that very like tender and malleable state um, could be very helpful. I've also found that um, swimming is always very soothing and relaxing um, when you are in like those itchy flare outs um, or like even painful. I found that swimming has always been a nice activity. Nine is to sleep without underwear. Um, I would still wear PJ pants if you choose to, um, but having like that extra flow of air seems to be really helpful. Ten is to take a probiotic. I like to take BioCult. And I take that every day, and that is to regulate your gut bacteria and to settle any um, autoimmune response that you may be having. Um, just because our autoimmune disorder does reside in our gut, and to focus on your gut health is to focus on the lichen sclerosis overall, so it won't break out and affect your tissues. 11 is to tap instead of wiping after you go pee. Um, for me, when I would have very intense lichen sclerosis breakouts, um, you just even like the simple wiping could tear or cause my skin to be really irritated. So I highly recommend tapping. If you have little ones, um, you may want to just teach them to tap right away instead of wiping. Tip number 11 is to use a peri bottle during extreme lichen sclerosis breakouts, and that is to avoid tapping or wiping after you use the bathroom. If you don't know what a peri bottle that is, this is what it is, and you fill it up with warm water. Um, you can also put your yoni steam, your healing herbs, inside the warm bottle, um, and you just squeeze it, and it applies like a stream of water to help rinse out um, your private parts after you go to the bathroom. And I highly recommend this if it is so sensitive to um, tap while using the bathroom. 13 is to use tampons over pads. I always found for myself, tampons um, wouldn't cause as much friction and I would like move the string 
and tuck it away from any affected area um, because with pads I always found like that extra bit in your underwear would just seem to like rub and always irritated me even if my lichen sclerosis was not acting up I feel like um, after my period or during with that extra like pad in there it always seemed to bother me 14 is to see a pelvic floor therapist. They know about lichen sclerosis and they can help you work on your gut and to work on any scar tissue you may have. 15 is to lightly massage any scar tissue. And let's say this is your scar, um, just to lightly press on it and massage that tissue out to break up that scar tissue. Um, could be really helpful and like relax that tissue a bit and not feel so tight, um, especially if you're gonna be intimate. I suggest like pressing on it at least a little bit before you're intimate um, just to help your body relax. 16 is to eliminate anxiety. I know as a child I was very anxious and in times where I would feel anxious is when my lichen sclerosis would be the worst or it would come on. So that may be um, just removing toxic people from your life or um, going to talk to someone, but working through the anxiety was really helpful to me. 17, find out what is triggering your autoimmune response. Um, for me, that was taking the Everly Well food sensitivity test and finding out that egg, something I ate every day, was triggering the autoimmune response for me. And once I removed eggs, um, my body healed and I haven't had lichen sclerosis come up at all. Um, I also do take that vial called probiotic. I'll link it down in the description below um, if you'd like to look into it. But working on your gut health, if that's what is being attacked, um, I highly recommend doing that so that you may hopefully heal your body as well. So there you have it, my 17 best lichen sclerosis tips. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more lichen sclerosis videos, um, please subscribe and thank you so much for watching.